Okay, so greetings everyone. Uh, welcome to our video in Psychological Statistics. Um, this batch of videos, this um, the contents of this slides is uh, created by Aloha, that's me, and uh, my colleague, um, Bode. So when we talk about Psychological Statistics, we need to have the concept first of the basic statistical concepts. So we need to have and start with the um, intro, the terminologies, and the uh, needs to know all about statistics before we delve deeper into its applications and such. Um, and of course, the most essential, we need to first start with the definition of statistics. Well, there has been a lot of definitions of stat, but we're going to linger on the definition that it is firstly a branch of science. Okay, Some would say that um, it is a branch of mathematics, but um, statisticians themselves um, argue with that. Um, they say that uh, statistics is a different discipline, um, though it uses numbers, but it's not technically um, a branch of mathematics since it doesn't really touch with the theoretical concepts. But actually, um, it deals with real data, real-life data, and then try to analyze that. So let's try to look at that um, definition. And we will say that statistics is the branch of science which deals with the first collection, organization, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of data. So when we say data, we want to make it clear that it should be numerical data. Okay. So we're going to talk about the types of data later on. That is, we have two, categorical and numerical. So we're going to delve with that, deep, deep, with that uh, soon. Um, statistics also is considered as the science of conducting studies to collect, organize, summarize, analyze, and draw conclusions from data. So that's basically the same thing as above, um, just to give you a different uh, perspectives of authors from different references. Um, statistics is also, um, in some definitions, it is also considered as recorded data, such as the number of business permits issued, number of customers eating at a restaurant, and the size of enrollment at USLS, and so on. So the thing is, when you say statistics, it's a, it's a, it's a data set. Okay, it's recorded and um, it gives some um, descriptives or it gives some numbers given um, different scenarios. It is also considered as the numerical characteristic. Statistics are or is the numerical characteristics calculated for a set of data or a group of data. And we want to emphasize that statistics is the backbone of quantitative research. We want to make that clear. Um, if you want to have a very short definition of what research is, or the two types of research, if you want to distinguish those, um, we have qualitative and quantitative research. Um, the only thing that differentiated both of them in the most simplest terms, the most, in the most, uh, in the most crude term, is that um, statistics. All right. If we have statistics working on drawing conclusions, we call that quantitative research. When we do not use statistics in drawing into conclusions and in giving interpretations, that's therefore qualitative research in the most basic sense. We also would like then to see and venture the applications of statistics. So where can statistics be applied? Um, let's cite some. Uh, as we all know, statistics is used in almost all fields, in almost all disciplines. So, cite for, cite, uh, for example, um, say for sports. So, a statistician might keep record records of the scores in a basketball game. So, when that, um, when that statistician, you know, you can see in, in a lot of sports how many triple doubles a player does, how many rebounds, how many steals, those are statistics. Let's say in public health, an administ administrator might be concerned with the number of residents who have contacted COVID-19. So that's also statistics. It presents us the data uh, for us to be used, so, uh, so that we can use that um, in the appropriate manner. In education, of course, as an educator myself, our researcher might want to know if new methods of teaching are better than the old ones or the old methods of teaching. So we would like to do research and try to quantify if one is better than the other, if the new one is better, or the old one um, does the job better. 
We also want to um, use statistics in business. You know, there's a different field or a different um, branch of stat, or shall we say a subject matter in statistics, which is called business statistics. So when we apply that, um, managers and decision makers use data to make decisions that will maximize profit. You know, that, that, that would be the end product of it all, to maximize profit. All right, and of course in economics, economists use a variety of statistical information in making forecasts about future or the economy. Okay, now, question is, the title of our um, batch of videos here is Psychological Statistics. I would like to impose one question. Can you think of an application of statistics in psychology? Okay, I think I will end that slide. In the next, in the next um, video, I will be showing you um, the different applications, at least um, an overview of the applications of statistics and psychology. So, thank you very much.